Hello, and welcome to the Mercy Health Comprehensive Breast Center's Breast Surgery Education video. You're probably wondering what you should be doing before your surgery and also what to expect afterward. This video has been created to answer those questions. As you prepare for your surgery, there is a lot of information to share with you, the patient, and your loved ones who will be providing you with help and support throughout this experience. Prior to surgery, you may be asked to see your doctor or specialist. The office surgery scheduler will notify you regarding your surgery date, when to arrive on the date of your surgery, where to go, and when to stop eating and drinking prior to. A day or so before your surgery, you will also receive a phone call from our pre-admission testing department. This person will discuss any medications you should take or hold on the morning of your surgery. If you are currently taking any blood thinners, including aspirin products, and if you have not yet received information on when to stop taking them before surgery, please call the surgeon's office for instruction. On the day of your surgery, you will check in right inside the door to the LAX Surgery Family Waiting Room located on the second floor of the LAX Cancer Center. Your pre-op nurse will meet you and your loved one and escort you to the pre-op area alone. Once in pre-op, you will get changed into a gown and answer a few confidential questions before your loved one joins you. Your pre-op nurse will start your IV, have you sign consent forms, and take your vital signs. You will also meet with your anesthesiologist and your surgeon. Once the anesthetic is administered, you may not remember all the details, but you will be transported to the surgical suites nearby and your loved one will be escorted back to the surgical waiting area. When your surgery is complete, you will be moved to the recovery area. Your surgeon will then take a moment to discuss your procedure with your loved one. After about an hour in recovery, you will be transferred to your private room on the fourth floor of the LAX Cancer Center where you will be staying overnight. Here you can recover in your own private room. Prior to being discharged home the next day, you will receive discharge instructions regarding the following information. Your sutures are dissolvable and your incision is closed with Dermabond, Steri-Strips, and a clear Tegaderm dressing on top. It is okay if the clear dressing is removed, but leave the Steri-Strips on until they come off on their own. If you experience difficulty controlling your pain after surgery, it can be useful to follow a schedule with your medications, especially in the first few days after surgery. Take your medications each time they are due instead of waiting until you feel like you need them. Also, if needed, set an alarm for when your medications are due in the middle of the night so you do not go an extended period of time without medication. Keep in mind that the pain medication can cause constipation, so we recommend having an over-the-counter stool softener available at home. If you had reconstructive surgery with your mastectomy, your restrictions will be determined by your plastic surgeon. Your plastic surgeon will also manage your pain medications and your drains. If you did not have reconstruction with your mastectomy, your breast surgeon will be managing your restrictions, pain medications, and drains. After surgery, you will have a clear Tegaderm dressing with a round foam patch around each drain. Those dressings can be removed at any time and do not have to be replaced. If you are leaking fluid around your drain site, you can use gauze and tape to protect your clothing. Your drains will be in place on average for a period of two to four weeks. It is important to keep track of your drain output and record the amounts on a piece of paper. Each time you empty your drain, you are instructed to strip the tubing. To do this, place and pinch your thumb and forefinger at the drain insertion site and use your other thumb and forefinger to pinch and milk the tubing all the way down to the drain. This helps to avoid any clogs in the drain tubing. It is also important to support your drains. Avoid letting your drain hang freely and support it by pinning it with a safety pin to the inside of your shirt or placing it in a pocket. When showering, you can support your drains by pinning the drain to a loosely tied piece of string around your neck or a lanyard if you happen to have one at home. When your drain output is less than 30 milliliters in a 24-hour period for two days in a row, you will contact our office at 616-685 5360 to schedule an appointment for a post-op exam and drain removal. Prior to your discharge from the hospital, you will receive a gift bag that is put together by the LAX Cancer Center Personal Care Area. Inside, you will find some products from our volunteers as well as a post-op camisole. The camisole is a soft cotton material and has removable drain pockets. 
Most insurance companies at least partially cover this garment. The full price of the item, if not covered, is $59. If you would like to know if this is a covered benefit prior to your surgery, you will need to contact your insurance company. The information they will request is the diagnosis code, which is 174.9, and the code for a post-surgical garment, which is L8015. If you have any questions or issues after your surgery, please feel free to contact our nurse navigator at the Mercy Health Comprehensive Breast Center at 616-685-5829. If you call after regular business hours, on weekends or holidays, and your need is an emergency, you can reach the on-call physician via our answering service at 616-242-8499.